In this video, we'll look at the QR code generator software that's designed to work with SmartShooter 5. This software allows you to quickly create QR codes to be used with your project. It allows you to create bulk QR codes easily. It allows you to save projects, create templates, organize, label, and schedule projects, as well as import existing data from spreadsheets. To start with, you need to download the QR code generator software. You can do that from within SmartShooter 5. Go to the Help menu and select Download QR Code Generator. This will link you to our website and allow you to download and install the software. Once you've installed the software, you can launch it from within SmartShooter 5. In the barcode window, you'll see a button at the top to launch the QR code generator. This will automatically launch the software and take you over to the dashboard. The sidebar on the left will allow you to navigate to the different areas of the software, including the projects folder, the templates folder, and the archive folder. However, the dashboard gives you quick access to most of what you'll need on a daily basis. Let's test this out by creating a new project. Clicking on the new project button will take you through the project building workflow. On the right, you'll see all the options available to you. For example, you can select a date for the project using the project date selector. You can also create a new template. I'm gonna do that here. I'll create a new class template. Hitting next will allow me to go through and create all the fields I'd like for this template. I'm gonna create a last name, first name, and school field for data in the QR code. I'll hit create, and now the template is created and automatically selected. I also have the option to create a new project folder to put the project in. I'll create a school photography folder for this purpose. Next, we'll give this project a name. This is a required field, so be sure to complete this field. Finally, you can select a different type to help categorize your projects. You can give it a color label as well as a name. I've got one created already, so I'll use that. We'll click the Next button to go to the next page in the Project Builder. This is the Fields page. Here's where you can create the various fields that will occupy data that will comprise the QR code. This has been already populated because we created a template earlier and created those fields as part of the template. We could add to, remove, or simply create new fields in this page. Once the fields are set, we'll hit Create to create the project. Now that we're in the project, we can see we have various project options available to us, but now we need to start populating the project with actual data. So we'll click on the Add Values button to populate the information for our QR codes. You'll see that there are several columns which correspond to the fields that we created earlier. Now it's a matter of simply typing in the information for each column. And once you have all that information, you can add additional lines of data by clicking the Add Another button. Once you've populated all the rows with the relevant data, hit the Save button and you'll go back to the project window where you'll see each QR code and the corresponding data. Once your project is complete, you have the option to fluidly work within the project. Using the ellipsis next to the project name, you'll have several different options available to you for editing, exporting, deleting, or archiving a project. You'll also have the ability to select all of the items in your project or select only parts of the data in your project. I'm going to export this project as a PDF here. Clicking that button will allow me to 
create a PDF based on a few different parameters. You have the ability to selectively hide or reveal particular fields. Once that's set up as you want it, select export and then choose the location you'd like to save your project. The PDF can be used to print physical QR codes that can be scanned, or if you prefer, Smart Shooter can read QR codes directly from the screen. In many situations, you may already have a spreadsheet of data, and rather than manually typing each of those fields, you can instead choose the option to import the data. I'm going to create a new project here called Imported Names for this purpose. When we get to the field section of the project builder, we'll add a new field. And it's important to note that this field name has to match exactly the field name that is in your spreadsheet. Click Create, and this takes us to the project. In the top right, you'll see the Import button. This will allow you to import data into your project. In this window, you'll see a two-step process. First, you want to upload a CSV. Once you click the Publish button, the data will be imported, and you'll see individual entries for each line in the spreadsheet. QR codes are automatically generated based on that data. Now that the data has been imported, this project behaves in exactly the same way as any other project. Like all projects, Smart Shooter will be able to read barcodes directly from the screen if you prefer. I'll make an image of this barcode to demonstrate this process. All right, there we go. I've made an image. I'll switch over to Smart Shooter 5, and you can see Smart Shooter automatically recognizes the QR code because the auto scan barcodes option is selected. And because the barcode has been scanned, that text has been populated in the barcode field in Smart Shooter 5. The QR code generator software offers a number of powerful features that will enhance any workflow that relies on QR code generation and QR code scanning in Smart Shooter 5. That's the QR code generator software built for Smart Shooter 5.